today I'm going to show you how to get your digital planner or really any PDF into your iPad because sometimes that is the hardest part about getting into digital planning. So specifically, we're going to be using GoodNotes, but I'll show you also how to send it to yourself in Procreate, Paper 53, Notability, whatever you want so you have options and it's super easy. And honestly, I don't know why, but nobody really shows you how to do this. And I know it's confusing for a lot of people. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a super easy way to do that today. All right, really easy in your iPad, go over to scroll all the way to the right and then you'll get a little prompt to search in your app library. So if you're like me, you might have two versions of GoodNotes and they're gonna come up when you type in the name of the application. Now this one at the top is the older one and the one at the bottom is the newer one. The way to tell if you have both icons is one, this one just has a bunch of straight lines and the full pen. This one just has a partial pen and the very bottom line is squiggly. That is the newest version of GoodNotes. You need that one in order to follow along. Uh, this is, I don't even know if it tells us which, uh, which version of GoodNotes this is. It is 5.7.5. <laughs> All right. So over here, we are going to go ahead and hit that gear icon again, go to settings, and then you're going to see this email to GoodNotes. You're going to hit that, make sure this is toggled on, and then you're going to see an email address. Don't worry, you don't have to copy it down. Just hit copy address. So go into your email client. Um, that's not it. <laughs> I did not mean to hit that. Uh, we're going to go into Gmail and I'm going to email this social media calendar myself. So obviously I already put it in my inbox. Um, I'm going to hit forward. In, make sure you say include attachments. And then we're going to say paste because we had already copied that down. And we're just going to hit send. Now it's sent, so we're going to go into GoodNotes and we are going to say done. And we should be able to see that uh, new document. Sometimes you need, might need to close GoodNotes and then reopen it in order to see that. Or you might just have to wait. There we go. So now make sure it's ordered. So you can order it by date, name, or type. In order to see the latest one that you received, you'll want to order it by date. So it's in reverse chronological order. So now we can see that we have the correct file that we wanted. So we didn't even have to do anything fancy. Before you used to have to put it into... Um, First of all, it had to be a .goodnote file, and then it also had to be sent to Google Docs. It was like a really convoluted uh, system. But if you hit that little pen icon at the top, you can start writing inside of your planner. I'm writing very poorly, but I am writing. <laughs> so all of that, totally possible. Um, and then you can hit that again, and then it'll let you flick through the pages. So let's say you want to use Notability instead. So Notability does not have that feature, but what you can do, uh, let's open up a different planner, is that January 2022 uh, annual planner that I created. So you're just going to hit it once. This is how my Gmail works. It just automatically opens up the PDF. But over here at the top right, I'm going to hit that share button, and I'm going to go ahead and find uh, Notability. I'm going to select that. I'm going to say create a new note and import. It'll say done. And then when I go into Notability, I'll see it right there on the top. So Notability works a little different if you haven't used this before. Uh, first of all, this is a, it's not a digital planner really, it's just a PDF. So we're going to change the orientation to be a portrait. Um, now in here, you just start writing right away. So, um, whoops, see, <laughs> I just did something. So I'm writing right away. Doesn't have the pen feature. Over here on the bottom right, it has a page feature. So you can just page through this pretty quickly uh, and your, your pen will just always work, all right? So pen, can I even write pen? Always works. So it's a little bit different than GoodNotes. I actually prefer it. Um, I like Notability better. I don't like going to the top and saying toggling the pen on and off. But again, it's a personal preference. Plus, it tells me how many pages are in here. There's 60 pages. Uh, I just like it a little better. Um, you know, again, it's different. Uh, and I said Paper 53, but that actually doesn't exist anymore. So let's say we wanted to open that up in, or let's open up 
maybe a better one is Procreate, only because, uh, let's say we wanna open the social media planner and Procreate, only because Procreate has better pens inside of it. So same thing, we'll just go down here until we find the app that we want to use and it won't ask you any questions. It'll just magically make it happen. So I was obviously doing nothing inside of here. I don't know why that's upside down. So we're gonna go to gallery. And so now that we're in the gallery, you can see everything that I have, but uh, we can go ahead and open up the social media planner and we can write. So this one has uh, different pens that you can use. So I just like the pens that are inside of here. Um, in theory, they should help you. They're usually pressure sensitive pens. So they're usually a little more responsive. So now the pages at the bottom, you can see just, it's called page assist. It just opens it for you at the bottom. So you can start just kind of moving stuff around. So January, I'm going to create the self-confidence planner, but I obviously write way big. So I can go ahead and make this pretty big with my fingers. And I can, one thing I can, I think if I hit this, there we go, two fingers just undoes everything. So now I can do self, whoops, <laughs> or not. I can try to do that. Let me try to find the page I was on. Oh, there we go. Self confidence planner, because that's the one I'm creating for January. The one that I promised back in like 20 BC. I know you're like, we've been waiting forever, Lisa. All right. So now I can go ahead and make that smaller back to its normal size and you can read it. I can't write that small, but that's why I like this one just a little bit better. And obviously you can change, you know, to, I don't even know, a retro pen, a pen sketch, a pen marker. Um, oh, you know who has uh, really cool pens? The retro brushes. I think the retro brushes are cool. Nope. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, there, that's what I was looking for. Denver. Denver is a cool one. So if we go down here and we say, this is a fun pen. And then we can make this back to normal size. There we go. So clearly I need a little bit more practice as in a lot more practice, but you know, if you like the different pens that you have inside of Procreate, you could definitely, oh, you can't swipe. Sorry. <laughs> you can definitely use this and they just have different, again, all these are work exactly the same. They just have different pen uh, paper navigation. This one's on the bottom for Procreate. And then we saw you had to switch the pen for good notes. You had to toggle this on and off in order to go from writing oops, to uh, flipping the page. And then for notability, we saw that it is over here on the right and you can just toggle down, assuming you are in the right orientation. <laughs> okay. So hopefully that helps you um, with anything, you know, opening up any files. I know it used to be very confusing in the past. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or there's something you can't open. And I did, I know I mentioned paper 53, but that doesn't exist anymore. And remember, if you would like to create your own planner, you have three, you have many options, but the first one is to sign up for my free course, Planner 101, I will leave a link to that below. That is a free five-day course. Or if you wanna get started right away, you could sign up for my digital planner course, or you could just buy templates that are already done for you and start selling those right away or customize them and make them your own. So I will leave a link to everything below and I hope everyone's having a fabulous day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.